Weesatch is a thorny, deciduous, mid-sized shrub or small tree. It may be an upright, single stem tree or with multiple basal stems growing in a rounded shape bush after disturbance. Weesatch is an early leaf sprouter in the spring and the massive amount of golden yellow blooms make it easy to identify at any distance. It prefers to grow in heavier clay to clay loam soils and is an aggressive invader to previously disturbed areas. Weesatch is considered a number two choice browse plant throughout Texas. It commonly occurs in the southern Edwards Plateau, west and south Texas regions, especially in the wetter locations of each region. New growth leaves have measured as high as 42% crude protein while mature leaves typically average 27%. The beans average 18% protein, however, the majority of the leaf and bean material is very undigestible, making Weesatch an overall low quality browse plant. Livestock, Nilgai antelope in particular, most other exotics and deer species readily consume Weesatch early in the spring or late in the winter, but because of the low digestibility, they must eat a lot of it to get any real nutritional value from it. The leaves are small and fern-like in appearance and average 15 gray-green paired leaflets. The pale white thorns are paired at the leaf base, straight, thin, and very sharp. The flower is a very fragrant, half-inch, round, golden yellow fluffy ball that blooms in late February to April. The fruit is a stiff black pod, usually a half-inch wide and three inches long, containing either single or double rows of shiny, hard, dark gray seeds. Dove, quail, and turkey readily feed on the drop seeds. Weesatch is oftentimes a love-hate relationship for landowners. It is drought resistant, very appealing to the eyes, produces outstanding nectar for pollinators, but offers limited browsing nutrition and is an aggressive invader. Control is difficult as prescribed fire will only kill the very young plants provided the fire temperature is hot enough. There are a few chemical herbicides that can control it, but often requires multiple applications with very specific timing requirements. Grubbing or deep soil disturbance with heavy equipment is required to permanently remove it from the landscape. Weesatch, in conservative numbers and specific location, offer prime dove nest and roost sites, so wholesale clearing should be avoided.